all men and welcome to this video guys do you want to learn how to use awesome macros in shadowlands well stay tuned because i got something for you because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some focus macros mouse over macros and some very useful macros that i plan to use in shadowlands so let's just hop on into it so i can get down to showing you how to use it all right guys so here we are we're in game first this is very important these macros will not work unless you do this you have to hit escape to bring up your settings then go to interface combat and then go to self casting key make sure it is on alt control or shift make sure it is not on none because this this is very vital for this to work this has to be set if it's not set it will not work set it to whatever is easier for you personally i set mine to alt because i use shift and control for many other things but um after you have that set up you're ready to go and you're ready to get check out how to use these macros all right guys so here we are in the game the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to take a look at a mouse over fear and focus so pretty much the way this one will work it has to be written like this all of them will be listed down below so don't worry about that pretty much how it will work is you'll just hover over your target and you can fear whoever you hover over you can also set it to attacking abilities if you want to i like this where you don't even have to target them just to be able to put a dot on them but for being able to quickly focus a target and fear it to set it up i also have one set up for banish as well it's it's super super useful because you know you set your focus on them but also not only do you set your focus on them you're able to instantly have them you know feared all right so here we're going to be taking a look at what i like to call modifiers or an alt modifier i prefer to use alt you can use whatever you want you can use control shift whatever you whatever really works for you as the modifier you can technically work but pretty much you have to select your target and then the way this will work is for instance i have an unstable affliction and haunt set on this one so if i press two it'll be a regular class if i hold down alt it will actually cast off haunt the same thing will work as you can see with all of these so i have corruption and unstable corruption on the same one so if i want to cast regular corruption single target there's regular if i want to cast it you know the big one there we go i don't have to press anything but pretty much you can apply and just switch between just by holding down alt and clean up your action bars it's super super useful for any sort of cleaning up or anything like that it makes it super super easy to do especially if you're trying to clean up your ui and make it look a little cleaner so i highly highly recommend those you could also set them so that you can teleport around so for instance if i press this right here as you can see demonic circle it spawns right here and then if i'm running away i can literally just hit alt and then teleport back so it's like it's extremely useful i've been using these for a long time and i find them very very useful i cannot do without them i've used them on my druid and i'm going to check it, show you that for a second but uh we'll be right there all right guys so for another example we have life bloom macroed with rejuvenation as you can see here we also have moonfire and sunfire bound together so for instance we want to cast life bloom there we go hold down alt if we want to cast rejuvenation there we go and it's as simple as that i want to target something seven for that seven again for that just hold down alt on the second one so we got moonfire and we also have sunfire applied literally with one button other than holding down the alt modifier it makes it super super useful in, in raiding healing makes it a lot easier to do and i highly recommend this one but we're gonna jump into the next macro and see how you like that i really hope this helps guys remember everything will be listed down below all right guys so for the final or third and final macro that we're going to actually be using here is we're actually going to be using a cast sequence which resets at the end after combat so the way that this one will work after you cast you'll be able to pl place both of them together and then it'll just reset after you're done the two so now i actually have haunt and exhaustion applied at the same time the only problem with it is you can't really click it again until that's done so it really depends on what you want to do but as you can see here we go again um that's how that kind of works so you can apply exhaustion only when haunt is off cooldown but 
you kind of want it. This is like a little starter up thing, so you can modify these around, use whatever you would like. But seriously, guys, if you like this little video, seriously, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos on the channel. Please consider like, commenting, subscribing. We also stream over on Twitch, and I'd uh, really enjoy to see you over, over there. And we might also be starting a Shadowlands Guild, so if you'd be interested in that, feel free to join the Discord. All the links will be down below. All the macros will be listed down below. But until next time, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, my.